I've just received a commission for five huge charcoal pieces. Okay, not that big. I've done big charcoal commissions like this before, but there was one tool that made making realistic pieces like this so much easier and faster. In this video, I'm gonna show you the technique for my latest charcoal piece and show you the tool that's allowed me to adapt my technique to make it 10 times faster. Before we get onto the tool and how I use it, we first need to take a look at my process. For large paintings like this, I like to start by projecting my image onto the paper. It's much faster and more efficient than drawing it out by hand or by using the grid method. So you can see all of the pencil lines. I've just done this using an HB pencil. I don't go into too much detail. I'm not trying to get everything exactly right. I'm not going into all the like little wrinkles. I've done it a little bit here, but not in massive amounts of detail and not too specific. I just want the basic large structures just to help me with the proportions because it's such a big picture. Now I've got my initial drawing down on the paper, I can start getting to work with the charcoal. With all my large charcoal drawings, I start with the eyes. I think these are the most important part of a picture like this, and you need those eyes to give the subject a sense of life. I start by using some Creticolor compressed charcoal to add the darks around the eye, and then I'll blend that with some tissue to add those darks. The technique that I use is very much a reductive technique, so I will add the charcoal and then I will remove the charcoal with erasers to add the details, the structure and the form. Once I'm happy with those details, I will just refine it a little bit more and add some more darks using a charcoal pencil. I will also then use a special tool, which I absolutely love and is a game changer, that I will show you later in the video, but I use it to add those intense white highlights, or rather I should say remove those intense white highlights from the surrounding charcoal. Next up, we are starting with the skin, and I am not a patient person, so I just like to chuck all of those darks on there straight away. I've seen a lot of charcoal artists or graphite artists build up these layers or build up these values very slowly, and it's a very time-consuming process. I just do not feel like I've got time for that, so instead I get those darks in as quickly as possible and I use the eraser to bring out the details. This isn't absolutely perfect as sometimes you do struggle to bring out the highlights back with regular erasers, but the tool that I'm going to show you in this video fixes that problem. Let me just very quickly show you the technique that I've seen most people use when drawing with graphite or charcoal. They will use some form of soft tool, whether that is a brush, a charcoal pouch, or even cotton wool, and they will build up very, very light layers of charcoal and graphite on the paper. They won't press too hard, they will keep it quite loose over the surface so it's easier to erase. Then they will build up more layers of that charcoal or graphite to add slightly darker values to the paper and slowly build up those darks layer by layer by layer. This is obviously really time consuming, but it is a much more controlled process and you can get much more subtle values from this technique. Whereas my technique is slightly different. Let me tell you about the tool that allows me to use my modified technique to get the same realistic results. One of the best tools that I have in my drawing arsenal is a Derwent electric eraser. It doesn't have to be a Derwent eraser, but I really like how this one feels. It's quite powerful and it erases really well but I can use it to erase nearly all of that charcoal back 
to the pure white of the paper. This is awesome because it means I don't need to add my darks around my highlights. There's no more like fiddling with a tiny little pen to get all those tiny little details in, colouring around the whiskers or the fur strands. I can just use this Derwent eraser to pull out those final highlights from even the darkest areas of the paper. I mean, it doesn't erase everything entirely, but it does do the job. You wouldn't want everything to be completely bare paper anyway. And anything that you did want completely white, you could just not put charcoal in those places to begin with. For me, those areas aren't the tiny bits of detail, they are the large, big block highlights that help to establish form and structure of the subject that I'm trying to draw. So I wouldn't be using that Derwent eraser for that anyway. It has genuinely made my drawing process go so much quicker. It's such a simple bit of kit, but it has just sped up my process and it's so useful. It works even better on graphite, so if you are a charcoal or graphite artist, I would strongly recommend buying an electric eraser for yourself. I use it at every stage of my drawing process. I use it for the eyes, the skin, subtle details in the fur or the nose, and even in the background as well. It's a fantastic bit of kit, and I'll leave a link to the one that I use in the description. It really has made my process 10 times faster, and I can now get large scale charcoal pieces like this done in under a week, whereas before it was taking me well over a month to get a piece like this done. Now, it's not hyper realism, that would take much longer, but it is realistic enough to create an interesting and engaging artwork. Just before we get onto the reveal, I just want to take a moment to thank my patrons. I would not be able to do what I do without you, so thank you so much. Here you are, all there. Thank you, everyone. If you have enjoyed the video and you have found it useful, please do give the video a like and comment and let me know that you enjoyed it. This is the first of a five part video series. I will film the process of all of the new charcoals, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.